So what's the real difference between Walmart and Sam's Club? And you might say, well, that's obvious. One is a department store and the other is a warehouse club, but that's not the real difference. Let's take a look at this in depth, shall we? At Walmart, you can go into the electronics section and you can find the $13 or $14 SD card locked up and you have to find somebody to get a key to unlock it. But at the end cap, they have the higher capacity $20 SD card right out there for you to steal it, right? But don't worry, they've got those detectors at the door. So if you walk out with something like an SD card or maybe a battery pack for your cell phone, the alarm goes off. But nobody comes to stop you and check your receipt and all of your goods to make sure you didn't steal anything. More or less, you can walk out with whatever you want. Now at Sam's Club, you pay for the privilege to have them damn near frisk you at the door to make sure that you're not smuggling out some bulk size package of fill in the blank. I, I understand that people can go in there and shop without a membership. However, they're going to give you a hassle if you try to enter the store without your membership card. But they pick random days to do that. They don't do that consistently. The thing is, you pay a fee if you don't have a membership, kind of behooving you to purchase that membership. So, one way or the other, you're going to pay. So, I don't even understand why they bother to check your card at the door. And right now, the membership cards are green. I could show them my green credit card and they wouldn't know the difference because there's no picture on the card. It could be anybody's card. It doesn't matter. Regardless, because you pay for that privilege, they will frisk you at the door. They will check your cart and check your receipt to make sure that you aren't stealing something that you can't quite possibly smuggle out of there. It just doesn't make any sense. But that's the real difference between Walmart and Sam's Club. They're both owned by the same company and they're both places that people regularly shop. But at one you can get away with theft and at the other one you pay for the privilege of being treated like a criminal thanks for watching